So I'm not saying this because I disagree. I'm just saying this because we have to look at a perspective and we have to have data to back up what we think. So if you know anything about real estate or any type of market, it comes down to and everything boils down to supply and demand. My video, as you implied, is not going to lead to a bubble or a crash of a market. But I do agree with you because anything can happen. There, anything can happen. It doesn't matter what I say or the professionals say, anything can happen. Nobody has any idea. But throwing out blatant comments like this, we need to kind of chat about it because I don't know if you understand the basics of real estate. Everything boils down to supply and demand. So if you think there's a bubble or a market crash or something like that, where is the overarching supply going to come from? Who is going to sell their houses to flood the market and crash it? Because people that have two to 5% interest rates, they aren't selling their place. And that's backed up with data. So if they aren't selling their place, where is the supply going to come from to crash the market? Do you see what I'm saying here? We can't just have a market crash just because we think that there's a market crash. Because in every time period of the world, everybody has said, oh, the market's going to crash. Oh, the market's going to crash. You need a massive overarching supply to crash that market. So where is it coming from? Because nobody is selling their houses right now, which is driving demand up, which is slowly driving prices up. My perspective, this is my opinion, is we are going to see a little appreciation of prices, but then we're actually going to kind of stagnate. And the reason we're going to stagnate is because there's no new big flood of supply. That's what dictates these prices. So instead of just saying this because one, you want to buy a house after the crash, two, this is what everybody's trying to tell you. Look at what the data shows and what's actually happening because the people that have good interest rates are not selling. Because if they sold with a 2.5% interest rate with the same money, they're going to have to downgrade their house or pay more and downgrade their house. So before we throw out comments, you have to think about the situation. And I will summarize it all with anything can happen.